okay good evening everyone uh, let me start now uh, heron's formula as we already know is yeah, about the area of triangle so i will just write area of triangle i would not get into theory this uh, session is mostly about problem solving and uh, what we will do here is we will solve a lot of questions so you have any doubt you can share it with me uh, at any point of time and then but we'll solve questions out here uh, let me write the first uh, help In a triangle uh, we have ट्रायंगल अंडर रूट एस एस S minus one, S minus. Number of these. this formula is nothing but call this formula as Heron's formula. Starting with a question. The question is something like this: Triangular uh, park. Write down the question: A triangular park ABC. has sides 120 meter 80 meters and 50 meters a gardener has to put a fence all around it and also plant the grass on inside find the area planted find the cost of fencing at rupees 20 per meter leaving a space for 3 meters wide gate on one side started getting few answers okay few answers i have been getting let me okay i'll give you one or two more minutes one answer everyone is giving right the second answer fencing answer most of you are giving right the area answer none of you i i didn't get only from let me check one person i have got it right the area of answer given by you except one person is not right okay let me solve this question first let me find out the area so area would be a is equal to 120 b is equal to 80 and c is equal to 50 so s is equal to 120 plus 80 plus 50 divided by 
okay now uh, just focus on the answer part rather than uh, giving the answer so s is 125 so i am writing it as 125 then it is 125 minus 120 125 minus 80 and 125 minus 50 So this is 125 into 5 multiplied by this is 45 and this is what 75 now generally there should be a case of prime factorization so this is 5 into 5 into 5 then i have 5 so i have 5 45 is 3 into 5 into 5 and 75 is equal to 3 into uh, sorry this is 3 into 3 into 5 and this is 3 into 5 into 5 so how many fives here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 um no sorry 7 so 3 4 5 6 7 so out of 7 fives three fives will come outside so three fives are here then how many threes so i have one two three three so out of three threes one three will come outside so inside the square root what will remain one three and one five so i'll have 125 into 3 375 and in bracket i'll have root 15 and don't forget to write meter square now let me go and give you a question sorry uh, let me solve the second part and then give you the question so second part is fencing is done on the perimeter now what is the perimeter s is equal to 120 plus 80 plus 50 that is equal to 250 out of 250 meters three meters are left out for the gate so total fencing is done on total fencing is done on 250 minus 3 that gives me 247 meters and 20 rupees is needed so cost of fencing would be equal to 247 into 20 which gives me 4940 rupees so that's the answer now let's move to second question sorry second uh, question which is uh, just give me a moment so second question would be so suppose i am taking a question where you will have to find out altitude and from the area so it's something like this so let me make a triangle or, or, or let me give you a different question altogether and in this only suppose or draw a line something like this and then it is something like this so my question is that uh, this is 120 meters this is 122 meters this is 22 meters this is 24 meters and this is 26 meters you have to find out area of this shaded region just solve it Find out the area of the shaded region. Did you solve it? I'm not getting any answers till now. Let me know in the chat box what's your answer. I give you two to three minutes more. I intend to solve at least 10 questions in the class, 10, 12 questions. Sarduli, the question is written on the board. Uh, so you have to find out area of the shaded region okay no issue Rishit I will do it don't worry 
try to find out the values of a lot of people are giving me answer root 35 root 105 why can't you find out uh, uh, the values of root 105 and root 35 you can definitely find out value of root 105 no 673.2 is not the answer no 60 root 138 i don't think it's a right answer 13505 is not a right answer Okay, let me solve this question. Yeah, one zero Rishit one zero seven four is a right answer. Good. So we have S is equal to. So let me name this. This is A. This is B. This is C, and this is P. So area of triangle. ABC I'm finding S is equal to 120 plus 122 plus 22 divided by 2. So this gives me uh, 120 plus 122 is 242 plus 22, 264 divided by. So this is 264 divided by 2 is 132. Uh, now I will have to find out uh, uh, area. So it would be formula S, which is 132. S minus A is 132 minus 120. Then 132 minus 122. And then I have 132 minus 22. Everything inside the square root. So this gives me nothing but 132 into 12 into how much is this? this is 10 and this is how much 132 minus 22 is 110 so i will not uh, do the uh, prime factorization i know that this is 12 into 11 this is 12 already here this is 10 and this is 10 into 11 so i have 112 111 sorry two 12s 2 11s and 2 10s. So 110, 111, and 112 come outside. It gives me an answer of 1320 meter square. Now, area of second triangle would be equal to that's a wrong answer 136080. Um, area of second triangle is so area of triangle PBC. I will have to find out. And for that, S would be equal to 24 plus 26 plus 22 divided by 2. So how much it gives me? It gives me 72 divided by 2. And that's nothing but 36. So I utilize this value of S here in my formula. 36, 36 minus 24. Then I have 36 minus 26. And then I have 36 minus 22, which is equivalent to 36 into 12 into 10 into 22 and that is nothing but if you look at it uh, it will give you um, 36 will come out at 6 now 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 then I have 2 into 5 and then I have 2 into 11 so I have how many 2's I have 2 4 2's so two twos come outside. So six into four, I mean four comes out, uh, out. so it becomes 24. Then I have three into five into, um, what do you say? Uh, so one second, 36, 24, 26, and 22. So 24, I have a 12 and 22. No, guys, this is wrong. 36 minus 22 will give me 14 here. So uh, I am writing it 14 here. And this gives me nothing but 14. So just give me a moment. So this gives me 2 into 7. So no change here. Just that 2 into 7. So 3 into 5 into 7 will give me 105. Now I, I, I need to find out what is the square root of 105 and if you will see square root of 105 if you try to find out as you already know square root of 105 would be equal to 
nearly 10.25 so 24 into 10.25 is nothing but is nothing but yeah i have corrected is nothing but uh what 24 into 5 is 120 then 24 into 2 is 48 plus 12 60 so 6 and then i write 6 here and then uh, what do i get uh, uh so i get 246 so i have 13320 minus 246 so this gives me nothing but um I have four here and then I have seven here and then I have zero here and then I have one here. So it's one zero seven four meter square and nothing else. So I hope you understood this question. Now let me give you another question. The other question is let me make a parallelogram for you. So or let me make a rectangle for you okay this is a rectangle and which i'm drawing this line and now listen to the question carefully so i am saying that uh, this is a rectangle a b c d so we have a rectangle a b c d a b c d is a rectangle uh, where this length is 51 and this length is 25 so this is nothing but dimensions are 51 into 25 centimeters square now i draw a line pq such that pqcd is a trapezium so i have a pqcd trapezium and uh, in which QC is parallel to PD and QC by PD is equal to 9 by 8. If area of PQCD divided by area of ABCD is equal to 5 by 6, then find out PD and QC. Now here I don't think you have you will have to use Heron's formula. Solve it quickly, maybe two three minutes, not more than that. I've started getting few answers. There has to be two values: length of QD and PC. I'm not asking summation of them. Okay, few answers I'm getting. Okay, uh, try to understand. Uh, let's find out this first. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to solve it now. Let's find out what is the area. So if you look at it, area of PQCD would be equal to, it, area of trapezium is, is equal to 1 by 2 sum of lengths of parallel sides multiplied by height so here it will be 1 by 2 qc plus pd and if you look at the height height is this dc dc divided by area of triangle ab uh, rectangle abcd would be equal to uh, bc into dc and that is equal to how much 5 by 6 so i can write this as 1 by 2 qc plus pd divided by because dc gets cancelled out divided by bc is equal to 5 by 6 so qc divide plus pd 
divided by BC is equal to 5 by 6 into 2, which is equal to 5 by 3. So from here, QC plus PD comes out to be 5 by 3 into BC. And BC has been given as 51 meters. So 5 by 3 into 51 gives me nothing but 17 into 5. So QC plus PD is equal to 85. I have been given QC divided by PD as 9 by 8. So if I assume Q, QC to be 9K and PD to be 8K, I keep these values here. 9K plus 8K is equal to 85. So 17K is equal to 85 or value of K is equal to 5. If value of K is 5, then it gives me 9 into 5, 45 and 8 into 5, 40. So answer here is 45 and 40. Uh, now let me give you another question, which is, suppose I have a parallelogram something like this and this is the diagonal of the parallelogram the parallelogram is named as ABCD where DC is or uh, suppose uh, this is 12 and this is 17 and this is 25 so suppose this perpendicular is drawn and suppose this is called m so you have to find out area of parallelogram and also length of altitude length of altitude am okay am i getting few answers let me solve this question for you so First of all, we know that the diagonal of the parallelogram divides the parallelogram in two equal halves. So if I find out area of triangle, area of triangle DBC, so area of parallelogram is equal to two times area of triangle DVC. So area of triangle DVC is nothing but you find out S for it. That is 25 plus 12 plus 17 divided by 2. 25 plus 12 is equal to 37 and 37 plus 17 is nothing but 54. So 54 divided by 2 is equivalent to 27. So area would be under root 27 into 27 minus 25 into 27 minus 12 into 27 minus 12 into 27 minus 17. So this gives me 27 into 2 into 15 into 
10. So how much it comes? Uh, let me prime factorize it. And this gives me 3 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 2 into 5. So I have four threes. So two threes comes outside. I have two twos. So one two will come out and one five. So one five will come out. So this gives me nine into two into five. Sorry, two into five. So nine into two into five is nothing but 90. So this is 90. So area of parallelogram would be equal to two into 90, which gives me nothing but 180. Now area of triangle is also one by two into height AM into base, base on which the altitude has been drawn. So which is equal to BC here and that is equal to 180. So one by two into AM into 12 is equal to, uh, sorry, here I'm finding out area of parallelogram actually. So if you have to find out area of parallelogram, so you don't need to write one by two here. It will be base into height. So what you need to do is area of parallelogram is nothing but AM into BC and AM that gives me AM is equal to 180 divided by 12. So the answer is 15. What is the the value 15 meters right so answer is 15 meters okay another question is write down what is this chat all about okay people are giving me answers write down a rhombus i'll leave it this is not basically heron's formula so okay Let's do a question of proving. This is not difficult, but uh, you'll have to prove it. If each side of the of a triangle is doubled, then find the ratio of area of new triangle thus formed you you need to solve it i also know the answer so don't try to uh, become too intelligent apply it with do it with the help of heron's formula Those who are giving me answers, I know the answer. Don't give me answer. Solve it. Use Heron's formula. Okay. I know that you all will give this answer quickly. So let me give you another question. I'm not solving this question. Another question is a rhombus shaped sheet with perimeter forty centimeter and one diagonal twelve centimeter is painted on both the sides
at the rate of the rupees five per meter square find the cost of painting Okay, so rhombus is something like this. A lot of you are giving me answers now. So if perimeter is 40, so side would be 10 because all sides are same. So AB is 10. Now the diagonals per, are the perpendicular bisectors of each other. So if one diagonal is six, 12, so half of the diagonal would be if BD is equal to 12, BO would be equal to 6. So AO is square plus BO is square is equal to AB square because diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. So AO square plus 6 square is equal to 10 square. So AO square is equal to 10 square minus 6 square, which is equal to 8 square. So AO is equal to 8. So now area of di uh, rhombus is 1 by 2 into D1 into D2. So that is 1 by 2 into 12 into. So this AC would be equal to here 2 into 8, which is 16. So 12 into 16. So this is nothing but 6 into 16, 96. And you multiply this with 5. So that gives you 480 rupees. Next question is the perimeter of a triangle. Write down the question, don't chat. The perimeter of a triangle, the perimeter of the triangle is 50 centimeters. Is 50 centimeter. One side of triangle is four centimeters. Longer than than the smaller side. And third side is six centimeters less than. twice the smaller side find the area of the triangle <coughs> I don't like this way of giving the answers 20 root 30. Why can't you find out the value of root 30? You all are CBS, CBSE students. Where you will have to write these answers without any uh, root. Okay. So let me solve this question for you. No, the previous question, the answer is 480 only. It's a 2D fi figure. So whether it is two-sided or one-sided, the answer remains 480. It's not a, a rhombus is not something like a cuboid where if you paint two sides, it's, it's, it's a different painting. It's a 2D figure, whether you, 
paint it on one side or or two sides it remains same now if the smaller side is x here then the second side is 4 cm larger so x plus 4 and third side would be 6 cm less than twice so 2x minus 6 now perimeter is 50 so x plus x plus 4 Plus two x minus six is equal to fifty. So this gives me four x minus two is equal to fifty. So four x is equal to fifty two. So x comes out to be thirteen here. So second side would be x plus four would be equal to seventeen, and the third side two x minus six would be equal to Two into thirteen minus six, which is equal to twenty. So S is equal to twenty plus seventeen plus thirteen, which I already know the perimeter is fifty. So that gives me twenty-five. So area of triangle would be equal to S S minus A S minus B S minus C. That is equal to twenty five. Then I have twenty five minus thirteen. Then I have twenty five minus twelve. Sorry, uh, how much it is? Twenty five minus seventeen. And then I have twenty five minus. How much I have written here? Twenty uh, five minus twenty. Uh, So this gives me twenty-five into twelve into eight into five. So this gives me nothing but five into five to two into two into three into two into uh, two into two into five. How many fives? One, two, three. So one five comes outside. How many twos? One two three four five. So two twos come in outside, and then I have one five, one two, and one three. So I have nothing but for twenty root five into ten into three root thirty. So I have to find out value of root thirty. Root thirty is nothing but five point four eight. So this will give me fifty four point eight into two, which is nothing but a uh, hundred and nine point six centimeter square. So that's your answer. so this is the answer somebody is asking me how to find out value of root 30 you write like this so this is root 30 now how many times it goes it goes 5 times so 5 into 5 is 25 so 5 comes here 5 plus 5 is 10 now there is nothing outside so i put a zero and then two zeros will come here so this will go how many times four times so 104 into 4 is 416 so this gives me 84 and i add this four here this four here so this gives me 108 now here comes uh two zeros so it goes seven times So seven into seven is forty nine, and then I have seven uh, um, into eight fifty six plus four is sixty. So six 
and then six comes here and then seven so i have and likewise you keep on doing so you have 5.47 again you will do you will get another seven perhaps here and that converts into 5.48 so this is it guys uh and this is it in today's uh centum r class of mathematics uh thank you so much for joining me for this class and uh i hope you enjoyed the class uh, we will keep on solving uh questions on 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 in centum r classes regularly so thank you so much for joining me and uh see you next time thank you